update for you guys. I'm about to go to work. I'm wearing my black shirt with the white polka dots. I'm wearing the jeans that I cut off myself and my little flats. And I've also got this situation working. Yeah, I, I did that myself. <laughs> and you can probably tell, but it's okay. I am thinking that I need to do like different hairstyles. And here's why. I mean, I just wear my hair the same way every day. Parted on the side, straight, parted on the side. Straight. That's all I wear it. Also, I found as I was unboxing, <laughs> not like that. I was unpacking is what I was essentially doing. I had some, y'all, it's gonna be another video. But I found my sleep styler roller things. What? So I think tonight I will try to do my hair with the sleep styler rollers and see how it turns out. And I can make like a whole little separate video on it. Like how I did it, how it turned out. Do I recommend it, do I not? So, there you go. Today's event that I was going to, the tour of downtown Garland, it got canceled. So I'm not going to that. And I was trying to get into my nail appointment because look y'all, look at the growth. That's embarrassing, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I need to get in, she's texting me. Did she text me back? Let's see. I'm getting in at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'll be there. I'll be there for you. Isn't that the friend song? All right, let's go to work. I did make an appointment at 1.30 to go show a rental to one of my clients. The three o'clock that got canceled, that was the tour of downtown Garland, it got canceled because of all the weather and the storms that we had yesterday. So instead, I'm gonna go meet Beverly, that's the downtown manager. I'm gonna go meet her at her office and just kind of talk about uh, the Christmas season and just the stuff that's coming on. So um, I still have a full day. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna get my nails done at 10. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna rock this, this it's kind of sumo sumo wrestler ish, but I mean, I'm I think I think I'm cuter. I have a little bit of time to kill before my next meeting. Um, I need to go get a caramel macchiato for Beverly because I'm just trying to be nice. But also, they have a Nissa hot chocolate there, so I mean, what's a girl supposed to do? But so I thought I'd come into this Dollar General because it's right down the street from the Starbucks I go to, and I was going to check out what they have and uh, see if anything needed to come home with me. There was nothing in the store that I couldn't live without. There was a couple cute things, but um, yeah, I need to go and get our Starbucks drinks. Done with my meeting. And, and I think I'm gonna try to stop by the storage unit and pick up another box. I don't know, maybe not because I have the gals coming Wednesday don't need to load myself up with too much stuff to put away. So no, I'm not gonna go there today. But I'm gonna head home, call Marvin. I think we're gonna make that last every plate meal, which was chicken something. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm at the Dollar Tree in Mesquite, in South Mesquite, and it does not have as good of a selection as the other one, but it does still have some things. And one of the things I just saw was this cute little, Ice cube tray in the shape of cactus. I think that's funny. I don't know if I'll get it because they only, well, they have more. So maybe I'll get that. But I was just trying to see what all that they had in the store right now because I was getting super inspired by the, um, what do you call it? The um, DIY, Dollar Tree DIY things that I've been seeing online. And so, um, just wanted to kind of come and check out and see what this store had versus the other store and see if I'm able to get some of the same DIY supplies as I'm seeing in those videos. So they're pretty cute. Um, and maybe I'll do one too because I like doing like little fun crafty things and just being creative and kind of using that as a creative outlet. They do have the popsicle sticks and then the little bit larger popsicle sticks. They have the wood letters, they have glue sticks, and they do have some um, baker's twine, but I'm not seeing any of the like jute or like regular twine that the other, well the DIY stuff that I've been seeing online has, but um, 
I mean, they got a craft selection here. Something I can maybe work with. They do have some wreaths here. Well, two. They have a couple of those and then more down here. And then they have some wired jute, but no regular. And of course they have those little balls like that. Which honestly, my cats would think was a toy if they saw that somewhere. But anyway, they have some of these river rock things. That's kind of nice. I have some river rocks at the house, like some big ones. And I'm going to paint those to um, decorate and then put around town, like around the downtown area. And like be those, I can't remember what it's actually called, but like, I don't know what it's called, but it's like, there's like other people that do it, like other, it's like an organization where they hide rocks that are decorated. So paintedrock.com or something, like, I don't know. Hopefully that's not a bad site to go to. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Oh, of course they have the regular, see? See how much empty shelf space there is though? That's like a lot of empty shelf space. I was looking for a container to organize. But it's not really thick enough. I was looking for a container to organize those letters. The um, letter for the letter board. But I just got, not working a pinch. Let me see, three, six, nine, twelve. There's 26 letters in the alphabet, so I need at least three because then I could have some extra space for the, um, like, and sign and all the special characters like that. So maybe I'll get those just for, like, temporary. Okay, I got three of those little containers. They're a little too small for, like, a lot of letters, but hopefully it'll store at least what I have. And then um, they only cost me three dollars, so it's not like I spent a whole lot of, like a whole ton of money or something. And then I bought oh these little things. I'll show you. So they had these um, silver organizing trays, and y'all at like Bed Bath and Beyond, they're like way more expensive. So they're only a dollar here. I was like, okay, it's a dollar. I'll take it for a dollar. So, I got those, spent five dollars, got three, four, five, yeah. I'm trying to think how much I spent just now. Let's see if she did that right. Multifunctional organizer. Anyway, I got what I needed, so I'm Gucci. Now to go home. And while I was driving to here, I got a call from Chris, one of my preferred lenders and I was like hey I haven't talked to you in forever so we caught up really quickly and I uh, updated on a couple things because I was actually gonna call him tomorrow and I updated him on a couple of things and then got my stuff from Dollar Tree now I'm headed home gonna make something for dinner and this Dollar Tree I was just asking her I said when do you guys get shipments and she said Thursdays and I was like great and I'm like but you just don't you have so much empty shelf space I don't understand and she said they got like a new manager in November or December, I think she said. And I'm like, yeah, but still, like, it's a lot of empty shelves. But anyway, so now I'm headed home. I'm home and I've changed into comfy loungewear clothing. And now I'm gonna make dinner. And it would normally be marvelous meals with Marvin and but he's not here. He's outside. He's wheat eating the lawn. So tonight. I'm making marvelous meals with Marvin and Lisa, Lisa, by myself. And I'm making honey glazed chicken from every plate. So the directions say that the prep time is 10 minutes and it's ready in 30. So I'm assuming like it takes 10 minutes and then by the time you're done, it's 30. So that's 40 minutes, right? Or is it, it's ready in 30, including prep time? I don't know. I don't, I probably should call every plate and ask them, but I didn't do that again today. So this one has sweet potato, zucchini, garlic, chicken breast, chipotle powder, chicken stock, concentrate, and honey. First step, wash and dry produce. Peel and medium dice sweet potatoes into half inch pieces. Half zucchini lengthwise, cut crosswise into half inch thick, half moons. Peel and finely chop garlic. Let's get started. It's 522, so now I'm gonna start the process and 
Step one, let's do it. Okay, it is 5.39. Yeah. It's 5.39 and for some reason I got two carrots left over. So I must not have used them either the other night when I was supposed to. Or I just got two extra carrots, so I'm noshing on carrots, but I just now... Who said meet me on the back porch with a beer? Like, what am I, like a bar maid person or something? I don't know. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get him a beer. Step two, add sweet potatoes to medium pot with enough salted water to cover by two inches. Bring to a boil and cook until very tender, about 12 minutes. Drain thoroughly and return to pot cover to keep warm. So the first step took more than 10 minutes, but that's okay. Now we're moving on. We've did I tell you that we're adding the sweet potatoes to the pot and we're gonna boil them for about 12 minutes? Well, that's what we're doing now. Then it says, meanwhile, heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium high heat, add zucchini and a pinch of salt and pepper, cook stirring occasionally until browned and tender, five to six minutes. Add garlic and cook until fragrant, about 30 seconds. Turn off heat, transfer to a plate and set aside. Then that's when we start the chicken. And I'm sure it's in like the same pot as the zucchini I'm about to do. Okay, so now we're, the chicken is cooking. The sweet potatoes are almost done. And then I'm gonna have to drain the sweet potatoes, add the chipotle powder, salt and pepper, and mash them until smooth. So, and then after that, it is heat pan used to cook chicken over medium heat, add honey stock, concentrate, and fourth a cup of water, bring to simmer, and uh, I guess it's like some sort of sauce. Okay. Dinner is ready and it's 6.22, so I don't know when I started. Oh, I started at 5.22, so an hour. So a little more than um, the time that I was supposed to be ready, but here's how it looks. Looks pretty good to me. Hey y'all and good morning. I, don't, I didn't finish yesterday's vlog. What? Dinner was good. It ended up being fine. I don't really like um, doing chicken on the, on the stove. I prefer to bake chicken. I don't know about you guys. If you have a preference or not, I do. And um, so yeah, uh, I just prefer, see I don't know where other Bubba is. I gotta find him. I prefer to bake chicken versus like doing it on the stove, frying it, pan frying it, drizzling it, browning it, whatever it's called on the stove. I just don't prefer to do that. But it did taste good. We had um, sweet potato with it and the zucchini. The zucchini was really good. So anyway, went well. I'm gonna recap tomorrow because my battery's dying. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget, be kind, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.